continue our lesson for lecture 5 of 6, part 2. How to changing base of the logarithms. If log m to the base a, change to the base b is equal to log m to the base b divided by log a to the base b. If log m to the base a, change to the base m is equal to 1 over log a to the base m. For example 6a, you should find the following expression in a decimal and state to the 4 decimal places. Given log 5 to the base 3. To find the value, we can change the base to base 10 or common log. Log 5 to the base 10 over log 3 to the base 10. By using the calculator scientific, we will find the value of log 5 is 0 0.69897 divided by log 3 is 0 0.47712 and the final answer is 1.4650. Next, for example 6b given log 10 to the base 5. Now we change the base equal to change to the base 10. We can write 1 over log 5 to the base 10. Now by using the calculator 1 over log 5 to the base 10 is 0 0.69897 and the final answer is 1.4 4307 For example 7a the question is to solve equation involving logarithms that means to find the value of x given log x plus 2 minus log x minus 10 is equal to log 2 On the left hand side we should use the quotient rule so, we write log x plus 2 over x minus 10 is equal to log 2. Next, we compare the value of log for the both sides. Therefore, x plus 2 over x minus 10 is equal to 2. Next, x plus 2 is equal to 2 times x minus 10 x plus 2 is equal to 2x minus 20. Then, x minus 2x is equal to negative 20 minus 2. Negative x is equal to negative 22. Therefore, the final answer x is equal to 22. Next, for example 7b, given the question is log x to the base 2 plus log x minus 7 to the base 2 is equal to 3. The number 3 we write in the logarithmic form. Therefore, 3 can be written as 3 times log 2 to the base 2. Log 2 to the base 2 is 1. And using the power rule, log 2 power 3 to the base 2. For this equation, on the left hand side, we can use the product rule. log x times x minus 7 to the base 2 is equal to 3 can be written as log. log 2 power 3 to the base 2. Next, compare the value of log for the both sides. Therefore, x times x minus 7 is equal to 2 power 3. We expand x squared minus 7x is equal to 8. And we write in the general form of quadratic x squared minus 7x minus 8 is equal to 0. 
and we factorize completely. X times X, X squared. 8 times 1 is 8 minus plus. So we have x equal to 8, x equal to negative 1. So we have to check the roots with the original equation to select the defined roots. Let's check the root of the equation. When x equal to 8, we substitute the value of x in the original equation. Log 8 to the base 2 plus log 8 minus 7 to the base 2 is equal to 3. Then log 8 to power 3 to the base 2 plus log 1 to the base 2 is equal to 3. Log 2 power 3 to the base 2 is 3 plus log 1 is 0 is equal to 3. Left hand side 3 and right hand side 3. True. Next. When x equal to negative 1, substitute x is negative 1. Log negative 1 to the base 2 plus log negative 1 minus 7 to the base 2 is equal to 3. Log negative 1 to the base 2 plus log negative 8 to the base 2 is equal to 3. Then neg log negative 1 and log negative 8 are undefined. Therefore, x equal to 8. Then, for example, 7c, to solve this equation, given log x to the base 10 minus 4 times log 10 to the base x is equal to 3. We should change to the same base for this equation. We choose base 10. Log x to the base 10 minus 4 times change the base is 1 over log x to the base 10 is equal to 3. To write for the simple equation, we let u is equal to log x to the base 10. Then, now we write in the u term. u minus 4 times 1 over u is equal to 3. Then, Time the equation with u. Then u squared minus 4 is equal to 3u. And write in the general form of quadratic equation. u squared minus 3u minus 4 is equal to 0. Then factorize completely. u times u, u squared. 4 times 1 is 4 minus 4 plus 1 is equal to negative 3. So, we will have u equal to 4 and u is equal to negative 1. 4 and negative 1 are not the answer because we should find the value of x. When u is equal to 4, then log x to the base 10 is equal to 4. And x equal to, to the, the base is 10. So, 10 to the power of 4. Next. When u equal to negative 1, log 
x to the base 10 is equal to negative 1 and x is equal to 10 to the power of negative 1. So, we have two value of x. Let's check the root of the equation. When x equal to 10 to the power of 4, we substitute the value of x. Log 10 to the power of 4 to the base 10 minus 4 times 1 over log 10 to the power of 4 to the base 10 is equal to 3. And use the power rule 4 times log 10 to the base 10 minus 4 times 1 over 4 times log 10 to the base 10 is equal to 3. Next, 4 log 1 log 10 to the base 10 is 1 minus 4 1 over 4 times log 10 to the base 10 is 1 is equal to 3. Then, 4 minus 1 is equal to 3. Left hand side, 3 is equal to right hand side, true. When x equal to 10 to the power of negative 1, we substitute the value of x. Log 10 to the power of negative 1 to the base 10 minus 4 times 1 over log 10 to the power of negative 1 to the base 10 is equal to 3. Then, negative 1 times log 10 to the base 10 minus 4 times 1 over negative 1 times log 10 to the base 10 is equal to 3. We know log 10 to the base 10 is 1. Therefore, negative 1 minus 4 times 1 over negative 1 is equal to 3. Negative 1 plus 4 is equal to 3. Left hand side 3 is equal to right hand side 3. True. Therefore, x is equal to 10 to the power of 4 and x equal to 10 to the power of negative 1. The answer. That's all for the lecture 5 or 6. Next, we continue for the lecture 6 of 6. Thank you.